I scheduled with Signal Peak Outfitters to go mule deer hunting in uh, New Mexico over by Roswell. And as the hunt got closer to the time to go, a friend of mine, Josh, he started working with New Mexico lion hunters that year. Josh calls me up and he goes, hey, we had a lion hunt scheduled and uh, everything's set up, but the hunters couldn't come. So do you want to come up here a couple days early and hunt lions with us? And we'll just leave from that lion hunt and go down the mountain to Roswell and hunt the mule deer. I was like, heck yeah. And I headed to New Mexico. We get out there day one, go out hunting, we jump a lion track first thing in the morning. The dogs get on that lion and the, the gentleman we're with, Sean, he says, uh, man, there's this one female cat that's out here and she is the smartest cat on the mountain. I've chased her three or four times and uh, the dogs will jump her and she'll run to a tree and she'll get the dogs around her and then she'll bolt and she'll head straight up into these bluffs. And uh, she'll get up in the bluffs and the dogs can't get to her and she'll jump bluff to bluff to bluff and then she'll get out of the way and the dogs will be stuck there trying to find her on a bluff and they can't find her and uh, she'll get away. A bluff is a shot of mountain that sticks up out of the side of the mountain and it's just a little rock formation that sticks up. It's got a flat top. Well, those mountain lions are smart and they can jump side to side or climb up or they go around the backside and they just can jump from bluff to bluff. So we get out there, um, day one, jump this big cat, and it's two miles away from the bluffs. And it starts heading toward the bluffs, and the dogs are chasing, and he goes, oh man, I think that's that cat. So we, we go back, we drop down off the mountain, we drive around to this other trailhead, and we jump off, and we walk up the trailhead, and uh, we get to the bluffs, and sure enough, the dogs are trying to tree her, and she's up in the bluffs, and they can't get her and one of the dogs gets trapped. And uh, so Sean stays up there, he's trying to get up there and we work trying to get this dog down probably two or three hours. And uh, I'm asking, what can I do? And they're like, go down to the bottom of the bluff and get a fire started and get some food warm for us. So I did that. And uh, they're trying to get the dog and they can't get the dog. So we go back to camp. We go down where we can get some service. We get on Facebook and we're asking for some help. And this rock climbing group comes in the middle of the night. They show up out there and they're like, hey, we're here to help. And they went up and hiked up into the mountain where that dog was stuck on the bluff. They couldn't get up to the dog. So they went up above the dog and rappelled down to it. Sean went up there with them. Then about four or five in the morning, they come hiking back in and they had, they'd rescued the dog. Sean went to sleep and we got up at four or five in the morning, went out searching some more tracks and we got on a track. Uh, first thing in the morning again, right before sunrise, and we took off after it, and uh, it, that lion ran down into the sunny side of the mountain, and we lost the track in the mud. So Sean said, well, I'm gonna keep walking with my dogs, and Sean got on his horse, and he's following that track, trying to find that lion again, and Josh and I took off up the side of the mountain to go back up to camp and get some rest, and uh, we see a track in the snow, so Josh stops and checks it out, and he takes one of his dogs out, and. So the dog is sniffing and barking in a way to tell Josh that this is a fresh track. So he grabs a couple more dogs. He says, hey, get ready. I'll uh, call you on the radio or text you if uh, we need to follow this track. So Josh takes off up the mountain. So I get out of the truck and uh, I'm sitting there waiting on the side of the road and Josh calls on the radio and goes, hey, this is a good track. The dogs are on him. Let's go. So I jump out, get my backpack, strap my bow in, set my arrows on top of the truck and head up the mountain. And get about a quarter of a mile up the mountain and Josh says, hey, wait here, I think they got them treed. So stay right here where we're at. So he takes off and walks up to where the dogs are at and I'm sitting where we stopped. And I said, okay, well, I'm gonna take a break while we're here. So I take my backpack off and I go to put everything back together and I realize like, oh crap, my arrows are down at the truck. <laughs> so I called Josh, I was like, hey dude, I gotta run back to the truck and get my arrows. He goes, you don't have time. They got this thing treed. You need to get up here right now. We got the rifle and we got a pistol, so get up here. I'm like, all right. So it bummed me out, but you can't, when you're hunting a lion, you can't just stop and miss that opportunity because you might not get another opportunity. We get up there and the damn lion jumps out of the tree and takes off running again. Now I'm a, a mile away from the truck and Sean's coming in and he says, hey, I'm gonna come around the other side of where you guys are at. So he's running up the road with his dogs and the horse. He says, hey, I'm at the truck. Do you want me to grab the arrows? Josh says, no, don't worry about it. The truck's locked. He doesn't realize I set the arrows on top of the truck. So Sean walks right past my arrows sitting on top of the truck and thinks, that's really strange, but I'm gonna listen to him.
When we got to where the lion finally got treed and we harvested her, we're only like 500 yards from the truck. I could have stayed at the truck and walked around with the horses and come in that way where the horse came in and the dogs came in and uh, would have had my arrows and would have got to the lion without that much hiking. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Also hit the little bell so you get a notification every time we post a new video. In the description down below, we wanna put a link to uh, New Mexico Lion Hunters. If you wanna get a lion hunt in New Mexico, those guys are great. You gotta give a shout out to Podium Archer MFJJ for all the stuff he does, the content he puts out and teaching you how to work on your stuff. Uh, shout out to Elk Shape for teaching you how to be in shape and ready to go. Shout out to Tim Connor for being a goofball like me and putting content out there. Shout out to Born and Raised Outdoors. And everybody who puts their stuff out on YouTube and exposes themselves to the uh, criticism that we've exposed ourselves to, heck yeah, put it out there. Who cares?